welcome back friends welcome back in another video tutorial for microbiology with shagnik so in that video tutorial we are going to discuss about chromosome walking although we have already discussed about chromosome walking in very earlier videos so today we are going to take a revision class quickly so for some time let's forgot about ngs let's also forgot about automated dna sequencing high throughput dna sequencing okay that means i am just telling you to go back in 90s where there is no such kind of instant dna sequencing method okay so in that time there are various human genetic disease whose biochemical basis is not understood okay and not only that there are also many kind of gene with important function whose protein product are not really understood then as a scientist how can you find out what is the gene of interest responsible for that okay so that is our job that we will fulfill with the help of chromosome walking so what is the actual idea let's discuss uh, before going to do this huh, okay so suppose this is the entire chromosome okay so now one approach is you can find out the generalized location of the gene that can be responsible for that particular function with the help of just using the recombination frequencies that can be derived from crosses or mapping once you have the recombination frequency now if you placed your gene of in the, uh, your genes we in the chromosome map you can find out the neighboring sequence that was sequenced earlier from that your gene of interest okay again i am repeating first target of us will be to find out the generalized location from which that particular function is occurring okay now with but just by placing our uh, gene genomes in chromosome map we have to find out what was the last and nearby sequence cloned earlier from that gene of interest okay that is the basic requirement that we need so suppose this one in the diagram is the nearby sequence that was cloned earlier so what will be our idea our idea will be we will use the basic concept of genomic dna library because remember in that genomic dna library video i have told you that the entire genome is cut with the help of a mixture of recombinant uh, restriction endonuclease right and so as a result they leads to the formation of overlapped sequence so our goal will be this one is the the gene our sequenced fully sequenced gene okay so we will use the last part of that gene to use them as a probe okay why because remember we have digested the entire genome with the help of a mixture of restriction endonuclease right that means that gene a will contain some part of gene b okay similarly gene b will also contain some part of c okay they are just like overlapped suppose this is your gene of interest sorry this is your entire genome suppose this is the one number gene this is two okay so the restriction cut side that separate the gene one is just like that okay the yellow line so what does it mean it simply means that the restriction uh, the dna sequence that we have sequenced earlier also contain some part of gene two okay so we will take the end of that 
previously cloned sequence to isolate them and purify them okay now we will use this probe to find out what we will use this probe to find out the gene b how can we find out this we will simply find out this by screening the genomic dna library which clones contain genes that have that particular probe or with which those probe can bind okay we can simply do this with the help of colony hybridization right because in that thing we are also using probe to find out our second gene right so in that the probe will help us to screen the entire genomic dna library to find out the b okay as you can see now we will also use the end of the genomic gene b as a probe to find out the gene c that is the red colored one then the gene c's last part will also used to find out the, our gene of interest okay that is how the entire thing is going on so the concept is very simple we need to know the neighboring dna sequence that was cloned earlier okay now we will use that clone and we will prepare a probe that is exactly complementary to the end of the dna sequence gene a because the end of the gene gene a must contain a part of gene b so that that probe can find out the gene b okay and similar things will going on so the basis of chromosome working is the fact that a genomic library consists of a set of overlapping dna fragment we start with a clone gene or dna sequence that is close to the new gene of interest so that work will be as short as possible one end of the clone of neighboring gene is used to make a complementary probe now the probe is used to screen the genomic library to find a second clone that overlap with the first and extends in the direction of the gene of interest so i have told this to you sorry oh bhaiya that diagram right that this particular portion will be used as a probe to find out the next one that i have also written here in the gene now this second clone is isolated and purified and a probe is prepared from its in exactly what the picture wants to tell us that now the second clone in part will be used to form another probe now we will use that probe to find out the next one that is the entire idea the second probe is used to screen the library for a third clone that overlaps with the second and in this way we can work systematically towards the gene of interest one clone at a time okay now we, that is the procedure by which number of human genome and other organisms gene have been found in those time okay so that is the concept regarding chromosome working although we are not using those things nowadays because now we have automated dna sequencing high throughput dna sequencing that can provide the entire sequence of the genome within a fraction of second in excel sheet right so that is the concept regarding chromosome working that you need to know so in the next video we are going to revise the another modified version of chromosome working that is the chromosome jumping that simply nullifies the use of unusual sequences such as random repeat repeats okay so till then thank you for listening to this class bye bye